everybody. My name is Rene, and I would like to introduce uh, our Canix Smart Home Energy Management System today. What we see here is just an overview where you can see the energy flow and where you can see actually we producing energy now, we charging uh, the battery storage, and we're using also at the moment we're using some energy for our um, for for our EV chargers. You can see here that uh, we're using energy for the lighting control as well, and you see the width of the, the arrows actually indicates how much usage we actually draw. Here, that is an optimum what we see here because we do have uh, less energy from the grid. So let's just quickly show you how that all goes together. We do have a smart energy planner in the background of that and what we do is actually we upload the current energy prices based on a 15 minutes roster and then we can actually have a PV system in here and we give all the and feed the system with all the data of the PV system so we do have solar <coughs> inverters over here and then we do a solar forecast so a PV forecast so what is the expected energy we are getting out that's the green line what you see here and around this we have all these loads in your in, in the smart home connected via KNX to the system and then we can actually leave it to the system and the system is planning exactly and you see that here in the schedule is planning exactly in what way and what order the loads will actually switched on to the to the system the second the second one is actually smart ev charging so you can have as many chargers if you want but usually at the home you do have two and that will be integrated and fed by the solar energy manager as well and um um, if if uh, you have enough energy, then you just put it into it. So the system with KNX here gives us also the ability to have an Outlook calendar synchronized with your appointments. And um, you can actually put in what time you want to leave the home and the energy manager makes sure that your car is sufficiently charged. Very important, if you have the energy manager, you can actually set up and load the dishwasher or you can load actually the washing machine and say, okay, I'm leaving the house now. I don't need the energy right now or the, the washing or the dishwashing to be done now. So you can actually plan ahead and say, okay, I will be back and I want to have this washing machine starting at the latest in three hours. So apart from that, it will always look into the best opportunity with the, with the generated power and maybe the cheapest grid feed we get at the moment and then it will start the washing machine automatically so if you ask you always you don't i'm sorry you you don't want to uh, actually wait for your washing you always have the ability to actually start a washing machine or the dishwasher exactly right now and then the energy manager will rearrange all the other loads to meet actually our generated or the cheapest energy power from the grid. So, very important for energy management is not just to, to actually manage the load, but also um, uh, show us where we use the energy and how we use the energy. So that's why you can have a look at the energy balance all the time. You see, these days we have PV used our own energy generated with a little bit of grid feed that day was very bad maybe it was a very cloudy day but here we do have actually a self-sufficient um, days in between where we use as much energy from our pv system so the system why the knx can be actually extended to integrating washing machines we do have the solar uh, uh, inverter we do have a uh, battery storage and we do have feed pumps that all can be integrated to the KNX system in your smart home and make your smart home even smarter in terms of energy generation.